What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the junction type of your duct. So in this exercise, I will be doing that on my flexible duct. Okay, so to start, I'm going to create a duct here. So let's say the size will going to be, this will be a rectangular duct. Okay, so the size will going to be uh, 600 by 300. And then the middle elevation, I'm going to use uh, 2750 for that. And then let me just create my duct here. There you go. And then I'll select here, modify. And then after that, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put an air terminal. Okay, for this one, I'll just use a supply diffuser with a height or offset of, uh, let's say, 2000. Okay, so just 2,000, so this will going to be lower than the duct, obviously. So I'm going to place one here. Okay, and then I'm going to place one here. Let's say I'm going to place another one here. All right, and then select here, modify. Now, the first thing that we'll be doing, let's create first our flexible duct and then connect it to our duct here. And then we will see what does it look like, okay? So from the systems tab, I'm going to select here the flexible duct the flex duct and then I'm gonna use here uh, let's say 400 okay and then for the middle elevation so I'm just gonna use 2750 as well same height of my uh, duct here so this is my flex duct round flex round type of flexible duct so I'm gonna pick at that connection point and then I'm gonna pick here and there you go. So as you can see, the default connection here is a T fitting or T junction type. If we check that one out in 3D view, this is how it looks like. Right? Okay, so let me just change the size of my uh, duct there to 300. Okay, so that's a T junction type. So let's say, for example, for this air terminal, you want this to connect to your duct here but the junction type is a tap connection okay so how are you going to do that so to do that go again to the floor plan and then let's create a flex duct so click the tool the shortcut is FD now before you pick any connection just go first to the type properties why because we are going to create a new type of flexible round so let's duplicate this Let's change this type to tap. So I'm just going to put there a tap word. Then OK. OK, by the way, the other one here, you can just rename that if you want to a T because the junction type for this one is T. So let's go to my tap. And then on my tap, from the fittings parameter, look for the preferred junction type. So as you can see, the, the preferred junction type there is T. So you just need to change that to tap. And then just select OK. And that's it. So you are now ready to create your duct and tap it to this duct here. So let me just change the diameter to 300 first. Again, the middle elevation of your flexible duct will going to be the same as the elevation of your duct. Okay, so let's click at the connection type, uh, connection point, and then let's click, and there you go. So there's now your connection. So if you click this uh, shoe branch, you can still rotate that by clicking that icon. So if you check that one out in the 3D view, so this is how it looks like. So you can rotate that, okay? To indicate the flow of your uh, air okay now so let's say for example you want to change the type of that uh, duct fitting so instead of a round shoe branch slip joint standard duct fitting so you just want to make it just a round fitting so instead of a shoe type so that is what we are going to do here on our third air terminal so we are going to modify that one so let's uh, go back again to our floor plan and what I'm gonna do is let's check our uh, flexible duct 
our tap flexible dock so let's go to the type properties again and this is where you are going to change it you see the tap here so as you can see the default is round shoe branch slip joint standard so what you can do if you click the drop down arrow there to see the type you don't have any other type of that uh, family that's why you only have this so you need to load one so I'll just cancel this one and then modify to terminate the tool now go to the insert tab and then load family okay and then as as you can see here I am using my 2021 because for my uh, 2022 I don't have a family installed here I think so if I go to samples let me check I don't have there uh, let me check here uh, I I only have family templates here okay so that's why I'll go to my Revit 2021 Revit 2021 uh -huh, here content path and then I go to libraries I'll go to the English and then I go to the dot and then you go to the fittings so this is where you are going to load it uh, round fitting double click that and then uh, I'll go to the taps and then I'll just use this one M round take off and then after that just select open to load it there you go and then the next thing that you can do is just go back again to your systems click the flex duct or just type FD for the flex duct shortcut and then before you will pick just go first to the type properties of your flex round tap type family and look for the tap here you click the drop down arrow and then you will now see there the family that you just loaded so just click that and then select your ok and that's it again 2750 300 diameter let's click now click and then click your duct here and there you go so as you can see it's now rounded takeoff so let's check that one out in 3d view and see how it looks like and there you have it okay so this is now how it looks like so basically that's how you change your uh, preferred junction type in Revit okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day